Hi, I'm Luke Streeter, Founder and Chief Delivery Officer at Flinder. Just a short video to talk to you about chart of accounts in Xero and how to get more meaningful reporting and insight from your data. The chart of accounts is essentially the way in Xero your income, expenditure, assets and liabilities are categorised. Too often I see companies using a standard chart of accounts in Xero, paying attention to the chart of accounts and aligning it to how you view your business is a powerful but undertapped way of presenting financial information better understanding what's happening in your business and therefore being able to make more informed decisions. There's a whole exercise first of designing an optimal chart of accounts. We won't get to, into it in this video, um, but once you've designed your chart of accounts, you're able to import this into Xero. So I'll be using the demo company again here, which you can access through My Xero and Xero HQ. First of all, you need to go to Accounting, Advanced Chart of Accounts, or it'll be starred on your drop-down menu. And assuming you've uh, already designed the chart of accounts, the most efficient way to do this is to import it into Xero. So you click on import, select if you're importing opening balances or not, and then browse for the file and select it. Once you've imported it, any errors or warnings will come up as well and it will guide you on how to fix these. You can also on screen, as I can show you here, you can click into chart of account codes, you can make edits and you can make amends um, but of course, this isn't as efficient as importing. I hope you found this short video useful. Feel free to leave a comment or get in touch via the website. Don't forget to check out our ebook as well on 10 common mistakes startups make whilst using Xero. And all the other videos are linked in the playlist above.